today to celebrate one of the newest attractions and restaurants right here in West Lego, Texas, Tacos y Plebe. Let's give them a round of applause. So again, on behalf of the West Lego Area Chamber of Commerce, we thank you for becoming members and being a part of this community. Today, we're here to celebrate alongside our amazing West Lego Chamber Ambassadors, who are business leaders in the community. They own businesses, they work for organizations here in this community as well, and they come out to support local business owners and businesses here in Wasico. So again, we thank you for allowing us to be here to celebrate today with you. And I know you all have been open, the staff has been working, and uh, you've had great responses about what's happening here in Wasico. Uh, but again, this is not the first location, this is your second location, and we're just so grateful that you chose Wasico uh, to bring this business here. Uh, to get our ceremony started, I would love to invite our Commissioner, Mr. Adrian Farias, to share a few words. Good morning. Uh, first and foremost, on behalf of the Mayor City Commission, we want to thank you, Luis, and your family for, for choosing Wells to go. We truly appreciate the business and you could have chosen anywhere, but you chose Wells to go. So thank you very much for that. I'm excited for this new venture. It's in my district, so I'm pretty excited about that. And uh, I love tacos. I've heard a lot of great things about your business already, and we're excited for this growth. As you can see, we have a community of support here for you, and uh, we're here for anything you need. At the end of the day, your success is our success, and we're here to grow with you, and we're here to help. And thanks again for your business. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Farias. Thank you, Mr. Farias. And uh, also, I'd like to recognize a few other individuals who are here with us today. We have Little Miss Weslico, who's part of the Menace, who's here with us. We also have Miss Adrianelli with 10% Bruce's office. Thank you so much for being with us today. And uh, again, we're just so excited that all of you are able to be here to celebrate, welcome this business. Uh, like we do here in Wasico as a family, we want to make sure that everyone here feels welcome and knows that we're here to support one another. So we thank you again for being a part of today's celebration. Uh, so the most important piece of doing a celebration like this is to hear from the business owner, hear their story, why they decided Wasico, why Tacos of Plebe, how did this come about? And so to do that, I would love to invite Mr. Luis to come up here and share with us more about your vision and why we're here today. Luis? <laughs> Well, thank you so much. And you just want to There you go. Well, thank you so much for everyone joining us today. We are uh, extremely excited to be part of West Lego. You know, uh, when we first got started, I'll say three years ago was when we first got started with a little baby small food truck serving uh, in two picnic tables, which we still have uh, serving in McAllen. Uh, my whole idea was to definitely eventually open in West Lico because majority of my uh, professional experience comes from West Lico. Uh, I worked here over 20 plus years, and uh, you know I wanted to be part of the community in West Lico, and that's one of the reasons why I wanted to come here. But to give a little journey about it, uh, again, we got started three years ago, and um, my brother and I built a little small baby food truck where. We thought it was gonna be, uh, you know, an easy thing to do. You know, hey, what's, how hard could it be making tacos, right? Just put a tortilla, you know, the tortilla, put some meat, and let's go. Uh, no, it's not as easy as that. There's a lot of things going on, and uh, especially when you get the support from friends and family uh, on day one when you open and you have over 100 people waiting for you to serve them tacos. It's not that easy. <laughs> so uh, we've, get, we've been getting a lot of support, you know, from family, friends. Um, a, a lot of people that have given us a lot of, uh, you know, love, even the community, when we first got started. Uh, it's just been a great journey for, for Glenn, you know. Um, so we still have, uh, from the very beginning um, of, of our time, you know, we still have the same crowd, same employees working from us since day one. Uh, why? Because, you know, we love to treat our, our staff like family because without our staff, we really haven't been able to accomplish this. So. I thank my staff for everything that we have been accomplished together. It's not just about me, right? It's about the team. Uh, but yeah, we here at Westaco, we try to do what we try to do is we try to change the taco game. You know, uh, our goal is to give an experience, not just food. You know, the experience with this composed of multiple things from customer experience to cleanliness to quality of product, uh, ensuring that we give our customers nice setting, nice vibes. You know, where it's not boring to eat tacos. It has. We want to make sure it's fun to eat tacos, right? Uh, so that's what we want to bring. You know, we pet friendly. We are a family oriented. So 
Uh, we, we just want to make sure that we please every customer as well from eating, uh, having a big variety in our menu. We have 12 plus tacos. We have healthy choices. So if someone's watching their cars, we have car uh, sense uh, food, right? Uh, so yeah, that's one of the things. And of course, bringing the beer garden into the into the question of the tacos. I mean, tacos and beer, right? We can say no to that. So we have 40 plus different type of beers as well. So we, we have big variety of beers. Um, and uh, yeah, so I want to thank, you know, the chamber, um, thank Westlaco for the, uh, you know, the very welcoming uh, process that has been for us. Uh, it's, it's just been um, a great journey opening this restaurant because again, I got a chance to meet um, great people along the way. And, uh, and again, great support. I mean, nothing but great support that I've received here. So if I were to choose again where to open, I would definitely choose Westlaco again, for sure. Yeah, thank you. So I'm gonna introduce you guys to the general manager. He's gonna be the one here, being here 24-7, outside of me. Uh, his name is Robert. Uh, yeah, one hit just, just welcome you guys to see us a little bit. Hello, good morning, good morning. Thank you all for uh, for uh, being here with us today. We're so excited. Uh, like you just mentioned, we're uh, definitely a family-oriented business. Uh, all the staff is part of the success. It's not just a, a one-man team, right? It's a whole family, and I definitely want to take the time to thank all of y'all for being here, and hopefully you continue to be part of the success with us as well. So, welcome. Thank you. Thank you so, we'll get to this one. So, uh, Luis and Roberto, I don't want to let y'all go that quick. So, before you, uh, before we move forward, can uh, you talk to us about business hours, location, what are people to expect? Because I think also when you walk in here, the space is very different. It's a really cool atmosphere. So I don't know if you want to share a little bit about that. Yeah, yeah definitely. So business hours uh, are Tuesday through uh, Tuesday through Thursday uh, from 11 a.m. to 11 p.m. We here to cater for lunch. We, we, which, by the way, we have lunch stations all the time till 3 p.m. Uh, and then Friday, Saturdays, we open from 11 to midnight. And then on Sundays, we open from 12 to 10. Don't come on Mondays. You're going to hate me on Mondays we close on Mondays. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, and then Mondays, what we do, typically what we like to do is because we're very respectful to our schedule. We are committed to our customers to ensure that we open the hours that we're saying. So that's why we keep a day closed so we can get maintenance uh, and detail cleaning to the restaurant. So we don't give any set back to our customers that we close for maintenance or anything like that. Yeah. Yeah. And then, yeah, we are pet friendly uh, kinds of, uh, we're, uh, you know, everyone's welcome here. There's no dress code required. You cannot be overdressed or underdressed here. Uh, we always have music playing because we like to, like I mentioned, we want to make sure it's fun to come and eat tacos. And it's, the music's very diverse where you have all kinds of music, international, country, national, other kinds of music we play. Yeah. And we have live music too, by the way. So Tuesdays, Friday, and Saturdays, we have live music. That way, uh, you know, you can come up, make it more of a date night with your kids, and your kids can be running around here. Believe me, no one's gonna yell at them. We promise. <laughs> maybe you will. Maybe you will. But not <laughs> awesome. <laughs> awesome. Well, thank you so much, and congratulations again. Let's give them a round of applause along with the staff that have worked really hard for them. Our ambassadors, Mr. Daryl Smith, to share a few words on behalf of our ambassadors. Uh, I was telling Barbara earlier, I remember the movie, Tom Cruise movie, uh, Show Me the Money, and with the scene, you had me at a low. Well, when you had me at tacos and a beer, I think <laughs> I'm sure everybody would feel the same way, right? But uh, on behalf of the Chamber of Commerce and the City of Westaco, we, we, uh, we congratulate you. The building's beautiful. Uh, we can tell by your staff. A good attitude and everyone seems to be happy and and why not so we, we appreciate it uh, we want to welcome you to the chamber of commerce we 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 know that businesses that join the chamber get involved with the chamber are the most successful businesses and so we know if you do that you're going to be successful beyond what you already are so i'd like to at this point present you with the plaque we you come up you and Mickey robert as well here's a plaque from memory today Another one for joining the chamber. Let's get a pick. Okay. Can y'all come up in front of the podium? Mm 
Can you look to this camera? Thank you. Congratulations. recognize uh, that we have uh, one of our board members here, or a few of our board members here, Mr. Jose Luis Garcia with Medina Real Estate, and we have Mr. Daniel Montes with South Texas College as our board members of the Chamber of Commerce who are here with us. Uh, in addition to that, I would like to recognize our Wasco City Manager who's here with us, Mr. Martin Garza. Thank you so much, Mr. Garza, for joining us today. And again, that's one thing we'll tell you about Wasco. We celebrate as a family. We are here to support you 100%, and we are grateful that you are part of this community. So know that the Chamber is a resource to you, however we can be of assistance to help you grow this business, market this business, that's our job is to support you and make you make you better. And so we thank you again for being a part of this organization and being a part of West Lego. So at this time, what we're gonna do is, I think it's time for a ribbon petty, yes? Yeah. Are ready for a ribbon petty? Yeah. Yeah. All right, and Anthony will let us know when we're ready for the ribbon cutting. We'll we'll count to three and we'll cut the ribbon. So are we ready? Yeah. Yes? Yeah. All right. One, two, and three. Woo! All right, there we go. Congratulations and welcome back to Blevin to Wasago, Texas. Congratulations, Luis and team. So let me get all the staff to stay here for a quick photo.